Hi everyone in Cloud Computing and welcome to episode 21 of the Cloud Computing Australia show with Brad Nelson and the world's number one cloud industry expert and thought leader, David Linthicum. This show is sponsored by Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. In this week's show, David and I are talking about a new study which has revealed that IT professionals in Australia are continuing to prioritise investments in cloud computing amid emerging technologies like machine learning and artificial intelligence. Hi, Dave. It's great to see you. Whereabouts in the world are you this week? I'm in Seattle, and don't tell anybody in Seattle I'm actually drinking Starbucks because no one drinks Starbucks here. They've got a much cooler coffee shops. And, and by the way, this hat was free, so no way am I promoting Google. They're not a bad company, but they did give me a free hat. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, this show is not sponsored by Google, and it is not endorsed by Starbucks. I'll just have to add that one in there as a little disclaimer. Thanks, Dave. Look, it's a, it's a great question this week. Um, what do you think this means for IT within Australian companies that are not moving that fast towards the cloud? Well, you know, I spent some time in Australia recently, and, and ultimately uh, I noticed that you know, suddenly there's a uh, land grab in Australia and it's around technology and specifically the, t the cloud computing stuff. And we have a problem here in the States where, you know, we have thousands of older companies that have been around for, you know, 100, 200 years publicly traded and uh, they're hard to change and they're hard to get off, get off the dime in terms of how, move, how they're going to move to new technology, including, you know, cloud computing. And, you know, there you have some younger, more aggressive companies in Australia but the main thing is that they have a kind of a different culture. Um, so they're okay with risk. You know, they're okay with uh, spending some money to, to get ahead. They're willing to spend a dollar to get to, a, you know, $4 in value, which ultimately what you're betting on in terms of cloud computing. So if there's any companies that aren't moving in that direction in Australia right now, they're going to find that they're competing in that economy uh, without the weapons they need to kind of take things into war. And even though it's a global economy, they're going to be competing in a global space, uh, I st still see them being left behind. So it's kind of like a mini version of the United States and the fact that the larger companies are thinking about how to become more diversified, how to become more agile, how to, to basically transform themselves into something to compete in the uh, emerging you know, digital space. And if they're not, they, they need to think about exiting the market and, you know, selling the company at some point, which means that lots of brands we've been dealing with, you know, since the uh, late 1800s are going to end up being bought up. Uh, and it's going to be a very different thing in, uh, you know, five to ten years. And not, this is a prediction that's being made by many experts and researchers going forward. So in Australia, we could see the same thing happen first. So in other words, I kind of look to Australia as a little Petri dish in terms of, you uh, you know, where the technology is being leveraged. And I think a lot of businesses in Australia are going to be left out in the cold when the majority of the businesses in Australia, as this article kind of, and this uh, survey, you know, leads us to believe, you know, start moving aggressively toward newer enabling technology, namely cloud computing. What you live there, what do you think? It's a very good point, isn't it? Um, Australia, like we've spoken about on a couple of different shows, embracing technology, I think, is, is very much part of the, the culture within Australia because, uh, well, certain, certainly not maybe all Australia, but the mindsets within certain organisations of different sizes uh, definitely have an aptitude that, that know they have to learn because they're, they want to be world leaders, they want to perform in a global marketplace. So um, I think the attitudes, like you've said, uh, are very much focused on you know embracing modern technology. And like you've also said, some of the bigger brands aren't. So they're the ones that the, the older brands that we are going to sort of not, not be engaging with as much because just be on the basis that they're not moving with the times as such. So um, I, I think it's, um, it's exciting times for a lot of small businesses that are given the opportunity to embrace cloud and, and get a lot out of, of the market share that they, you know, potentially 10, 15 years wouldn't been able to have leveraged before. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, the data points that I got was, um, you know, I didn't run into one what I called a folded arm gang. In other words, um, they're not moving to cloud. They don't know why they're talking to me and and which is fine. I'm not necessarily a cloud bigot. I'm, I'm here to tell them the, the pluses and minuses of leveraging any new enabling technology, cloud computing, you know, included in that. But talking to the analysts and I talked to several um, when I was at the AWS summit that they just think, uh, differently and are more positive in terms of how things are transforming in the uh, in Australia and also Asia Pac in general. And so that's something you don't see in the States. You see 
still lots of companies that may be talking up cloud and maybe even putting cloud computing in their board packages and you know uh, doing press releases and things like that. When you kind of look behind the covers, nothing's really happening. Uh, where Australia seems to be prioritizing this in such a way that you can see its core are strategic to really kind of how the way, the way they're going to do business going forward. And I, I think that absolutely is, uh, you know, something that's an imperative to com companies living beyond 10 years into the future. And I do think we're going to have a huge upheaval. Uh, we're going to see lots of companies are going to be very much in trouble in five to 10 years because their market's changing around them and they're not able to change in order to accommodate their market. And that's, they're just not used to the acceleration and not used to the speed and not used to the changes that are occurring. And so, you know, the way I look at it, you have to anticipate the disruption disruptions. You know, if Airbnb and Uber is going to disrupt the cab market and the hotel market, well, what's the disruption you can take advantage of in those disruptions? And really, the global 2000 companies, based on their size, you know, need to start thinking that way. And companies in Australia seem to be way ahead of the United States, not in terms of size, in terms of scale, in terms of revenue, but in terms of kind of innovative thinking in terms of how they can leverage technology to benefit their shareholders. Yeah, 100%. It's a, it's a great point. They really are. They've got that optimism and that, that foresight to see the potential and what something can be. And they're not scared to, to try it and, and, you know, hedge their bets on a smaller investment for a potentially a, a bigger gain. So thanks, Dave, for being part of the Australia show this week. That was a, it's a great topic and that really is a, a great report. I think we should put that maybe in the um, description box. What do you think? Yeah, and no, I'll definitely put it in the description box so people can read it for themselves and judge for yourselves. And by the way, if any company wants to send me a free hat, please feel free. Yeah, I'd like one too, actually. Thanks very much. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thanks, Dave. Thanks for being part of the Australia show this week. My pleasure, man. Be good. Peace. Well, thanks for watching this week's Australia show. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed recording it. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also click the link below because there's a link to our podcast, which we do weekly as well. So thanks for watching and look forward to next week.